What's going on guys, The Comics Kid 2099 here. A couple months ago, I did a video titled If I Was Writing the Fantastic Four, where I kind of threw out a freebie idea for if I was writing the Fantastic Four comic book series at Marvel Comics. Well, I have another Fantastic Four idea that I'm going to throw out there, give it to you guys for free, uh, just because I highly doubt that I will ever be writing the Fantastic Four at Marvel Comics. Uh, this idea, unlike my other one, which could be used pretty much any time and any place and would be used uh, at length over the course of several years for for a character in the Fantastic Four comics, this one would be more uh, something to use right now if you wanted to bring the Fantastic Four back into the limelight. Because if you are keeping up with Marvel Comics right now, uh, the Fantastic Four are no longer being published. You have Fantastic Four characters like the Thing in Guardians of the Galaxy and the Human Torch in the Uncanny Avengers, but you don't have uh, the Fantastic Four as a unit uh, operating like they had pretty much consistently uh, since the 1960s. Uh, so this is an idea that I would use if if Marvel Comics called me right now and said, we want you to write the Fantastic Four, what's going to be your opening arc? This is what my opening arc would be. So I imagine at some point over the last few months in Marvel Comics time, there has been another Fantastic Four that has formed. They are not operating on our Earth, on Marvel Earth 616. This is more of a multiversal Fantastic Four team. Uh, they basically operate on the same uh, level that the Fantastic Four does. They're not superheroes per se. They're more inner galactic explorers, only instead of just being intergalactic explorers, they are also multiversal explorers. And in fact, each member of this Fantastic Four team hails from a different alternate reality. And uh, I skewered the Marvel multiverse trying to find some of the most interesting Earths that I could uh, pull some of these characters from uh, to create a very interesting and diverse team. Uh, so I went with uh, Reed Richards from Counter-Earth. Uh, Counter-Earth was created by the High Evolutionary, and the Reed Richards of this world, he was was much more villainous than our Reed Richards, and in fact, he did not become Mr. Fantastic, because uh, Counter-Earth, for the most part, did not have superheroes like they do on our Marvel 616. Uh, so, uh, somehow, he actually became the Brute, which was this big, purple, Hulk-type monster. So, I would have uh, Reed Richards of Counter-Earth, the Brute, I would have him be leading this team, and you may be saying, well, hold on a second, the Brute is a bad guy, and I would still be playing off a lot of his villainous tendencies, but I would scale him back. I would have him basically realized that uh, his villainy wasn't really taking him anywhere and he needed to kind of look at the bigger picture, as big of a picture as you can possibly get. Instead of uh, just trying to fight the Fantastic Four and replace Reed Richards like he did back in the 1970s, uh, he is trying to now protect the multiverse. And uh, joining him, I would put uh, Ben Grimm, the Dragonfly of Earth 7712. Uh, this is a world where every member of the Fantastic Four got slightly different powers. So the Ben Grimm of this world, uh, he did not actually become the monstrous thing. Uh, he has these uh, strange looking wings that allow him to fly, uh, but I would have this Ben Grimm, uh, since he's not so caught up in woe is me, my life is ruined, I'm just going to go over here and sulk for a while. Since he's not acting so much like this, I would have this Ben Grimm be more of an Indiana Jones type. Uh, and that's kind of uh, the type of character that Reed Richards used to be in the 1960s, our Reed Richards from Marvel 616 world. Uh, he used to be much more of a Doc Savage type adventuring hero, but uh, that aspect of his personality has kind of gone away over the years. So I would kind of want to bring that back a little bit in the form of Ben Grimm from this world. Uh, since he's not uh, lost his handsome good looks, he's probably got a good life going with someone from his earth. Maybe Alicia Masters, maybe not. Uh, maybe someone else. Uh, there'd probably be lots of women who would want to get with uh, the Dragonfly of Earth 7712. Uh, so uh, that is uh, who I would have kind of sort of as the field leader anytime they have to go out on an adventure. You've got uh, Reed Richards of Counter-Earth. He's in charge of the team and this entire operation. But uh, the Ben Grimm from this world, he is more uh, in charge whenever they go out on an adventure. And then I would have Sue Storm from Earth uh, 231. Uh, this is a world where Reed Richards, uh, her husband, uh, he actually murdered the Illuminati. Uh, so in our Earth, uh, the Marvel 616 world, Reed and the rest of the Illuminati, they were active for years doing stuff behind the scenes. Uh, they were the ones responsible for sending the Incredible Hulk into outer space. Uh, in Earth 231, Reed actually murders all the Illuminati. And uh, he is brought to justice. Uh, this is a world, by the way, that we never actually got to see that much of this world. This was one uh, among many that we got to see very, very brief glimpses into in a Dark Reign Fantastic Four miniseries. And uh, basically, I'm extrapolating that Reed would have been brought to justice on this world, and the Fantastic Four would have disbanded, and then uh, Sue Storm would be recruited into this organization. And uh, Reed of Counter-Earth, the Brute, uh, the way I see it is he does have slightly more heroic 
Rick uh, it ideals at this point in his life. Uh, he's not as villainous as he used to be. Uh, he's basically wanting to protect the entire multiverse, but he does know that he used to be a villain, and he needs somebody there to keep a close eye on him. Who better to do that than a version of Sue Storm that does not trust Reed Richards at all? Uh, I was very close to choosing the Ultimate Universe Sue Storm, who also would have very good reason not to trust Reed Richards, but I wanted to go with a lesser-known Sue Storm, one who is a little closer to the 616 Sue Storm. Uh, and lastly, uh, I would go with Johnny Storm from Earth 7918. Uh, this is a uh, universe where, uh, back during the days of Leonardo da Vinci, instead of him just creating the designs for uh, the very early helicopter, instead of him just creating these designs, he actually went into production on some of his really fantastic ideas. And so uh, this is a world where, uh, in the Marvel Universe anyway, uh, space travel became possible much, much earlier than it did in the Marvel 616 universe. So by the time he got to World War II, uh, World War II, instead of just being fought on planet Earth, was actually being fought uh, across across the entire galaxy uh, against an army of aliens called uh, the Bizans, I think, or something like that. And so I am extrapolating once again because we only ever saw this world in one issue of What If, I think, and it was set during the 1940s. So I'm extrapolating that by the time you got to the present day and you've got uh, the superheroic era happening in full force, uh, superhero teams like the X-Men, the Avengers, and the Fantastic Four would be extremely different. Uh, I would say that Johnny Storm, his personality would more or less be the same but instead of him just driving a race car to try and impress girls, maybe he drives a spaceship. Uh, maybe uh, if I wanted to take him and make him be a little bit more mature than he's usually uh, portrayed, uh, maybe halfway in between the Stanley Jack Kirby Human Torch and the John Byrne Human Torch, I'd have him be uh, a little bit more mature than usual, but not quite uh, the fully formed, uh, emotionally mature adult that he was in the Byrne run. Uh, I would say that maybe he could be the captain of some space army. Uh, maybe uh, kind of like how the Roman centurions, uh, each one was in charge of 100 soldiers, maybe he's got 100 men under him on some ship that goes out and explores the galaxy or patrols the galaxy or something. Uh, I would say that maybe the Fantastic Four also broke up in this reality, and that's why he's doing this, or maybe uh, they're still a thing and he just does this on the side. Who knows? Because uh, we've had members of the Fantastic Four in our reality, uh, and other superhero teams as well, They can be part of a superhero team, but also have their own side life going on. So maybe Johnny is doing this on the side. Uh, but anyway, uh, the way that I imagine this team operating is kind of like The Authority by Warren Ellis and Brian Hitch. At least uh, the early Authority, uh, they were kind of a multiversal uh, police force. They would go around and on this Earth, if they've been taken over by aliens and all of these evil aliens exist in Italy, then The Authority says, okay, we're just going to pick up the entire continent and just throw it off the planet. And uh, they were much more extreme than normal superhero teams in the late 1990s. So I would want to kind of sort of take a note from uh, The Authority uh, from that period. Not exactly. I wouldn't want this team to be just like The Authority, but I would want it to kind of be like that. I imagine that uh, Reed Richards uh, of Counter-Earth, uh, he somehow found a way to uh, look across the multiverse and recruit all these people from these alternate realities because he sees in them something that will help him basically make the multiverse a safer place. There's probably a lot of stuff that goes on across the multiverse that uh, your normal, average, ordinary schmo superhero isn't even going to know about. And with the Exiles seemingly no longer doing stuff anymore, uh, you probably probably need a group of superheroes to kind of uh, keep an eye on stuff uh, that Spider-Man or even the normal Fantastic Four wouldn't normally keep an eye on. Uh, so I imagine that he contacted all of these people, and uh, they're probably even using Johnny Storm's personal space station uh, to kind of uh, keep an eye on the multiverse. And they're using uh, the Brute's uh, technology, uh, which he has uh, kind of upgraded in this spaceship, to kind of keep an eye on many different worlds. And if something is going on in this world, maybe it's a world where there are very few superheroes, or maybe there's a world world where some of these superheroes are busy doing other stuff, then uh, this version of the Fantastic Four, they can go to that world very briefly and fix that problem. Uh, so it's kind of like a cross between the Authority and the Exiles. Not quite as extreme as the Authority, uh, but not quite as dimension hoppy as the Exiles, because they would have their own personal base of operations. And how I would tie this in with the Marvel 616 universe is, basically, the Fantastic Four is no more in our world, and there would be some evil threat happening in the 616 universe 
universe. And uh, I imagine it happening like the entire first issue of this brand new Fantastic Four series is going to be all about some threat rising up. And then uh, everyone's like, well, who's going to fight this? Because there is no more Fantastic Four. Anyone reading this comic would probably say that. And then, uh, very last page, you see this brand new Fantastic Four come about. And uh, the way I would play it, you would already know, since you're watching this video, that it's the Brute. But in this big uh, splash page money shot of the entire team, you're thinking, hey, there's Reed Richards and there's Sue Storm. And then who are these other guys? Like Johnny Storm has a weird robot suit or something. And uh, Ben Grimm has wings. What's going on here? And then over the next few issues, you would find out that, in fact, each of these people are coming from a different parallel world. And that's why you're not seeing Franklin or Valerie, because uh, they didn't recruit children into this organization. They just recruited four uh, to replace the Fantastic Four. And uh, I imagine that the Brute is thinking, okay, we need to go and find the real Fantastic Four. They need to be back together, and they need to be patrolling this Earth, because we've got an entire multiverse that we need to take care of, so we need to just temporarily set up headquarters right here on Earth until we can find uh, the real Fantastic Four. And then they probably could uh, pretty easily find uh, the Human Torch, who's still on Earth. It might be a little trickier for them to find Thing, who's out in space somewhere with the Guardians of the Galaxy, and it would be even harder finding uh, the rest of the Richards family. Uh, but I would have this be kind of like how Azrael replaced Bruce Wayne in the Batman comics, or how uh, Dr. Octopus briefly became Spider-Man a few years ago in Spider-Man. Uh, stuff like that. Artemis became Wonder Woman. Uh, Jim Rhodes became Iron Man. Uh, it's always a temporary thing where somebody else is filling in the shoes of your main hero. I would have, for uh, maybe a year or so, uh, this brand new Fantastic Four, they are trying to fight off threats that normally the Fantastic Four would be handling, but at the same time, they're also trying to devote a lot of their side time to searching for the real Fantastic Four so that they can put those guys back in New York City where they belong. And, and I would try to have this be kind of a thing where uh, you would want to see more adventures from this multiversal Fantastic Four team, but at the same time, seeing them together, you would realize, okay, these guys, uh, much as they are good at working together, they are not a family because they each come from a different world. And uh, Dragonfly here, he probably misses the Sue, Reed, and Johnny from his world. And then Sue Storm, she doesn't trust Reed at all, and she may even be over here plotting against him because she thinks that maybe he's over here planning something not so good. And then you've got Johnny, who's over here like, okay, these primates, they don't even have uh, public space travel. What is going on here? I don't like it here. I just want to go back home where I can relax in my space jacuzzi or something like that. All of these guys, they work well together and they are uh, all at a good place in their hearts. Like they've got a good thing going and uh, they may have good intentions, but at the same time, they are not working together like a family. And so in my mind, it would be a really good way to show people, okay, this is a neat little temporary replacement of Fantastic Four, but at the same time, this is not the Fantastic Four. They are not a family. Their heart is not there that should be there in a Fantastic Four series. And so by the time this team succeeds in putting the Fantastic Four together, hopefully the audience would be excited to actually see the real Fantastic Four in action once again, and they could see that family dynamic that is so crucial in the Fantastic Four comics. Uh, that is my pitch for how I would restart the Fantastic Four series in Marvel right now. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I think the idea of seeing uh, different versions of members of the Fantastic Four work together from across the multiverse, uh, protecting the multiverse, I think that would be a really neat idea to see in action. And then after your real Fantastic Four is put back together on the Marvel 616 universe, then every once in a while you could have some big multiversal threat, and then these guys could come back and say, hey, Fantastic Four from Earth 616, we need your help. Uh, we have to fight uh, Demigorg, the God Eater, or something like that. Uh, we need something really huge that we're going to need your help with. Uh, but that is the subject of maybe another, if I was writing the Fantastic Four video. Uh, maybe not. Uh, if I have another idea, I'll probably be floating one your way in a month or two. Uh, so in the meantime, I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, if you did, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And how would you bring the Fantastic Four back if you were charged with doing so? Uh, tell me about it in the comments below, or if you did a video, uh, tell me about it, and I'll see if I can watch your video if I have time. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you guys did have a great day, and I hope that uh, you enjoy this video. And I do other videos throughout the week. So in the meantime, I will see you guys in the future. Have a great rest of the day.